Hello, next section is history of management. To gain a full understanding of what management is and where it can go, learning from history becomes important. Those that don't learn from history are doomed to repeat it. Let's talk about the early history. OB is as old as man. Okay, cavemen used it working together. People have always worked to together to achieve things. The Greeks studied it. Plato in the essence of leadership, Aristotle in the persuasive communication, the pyramids, um, the Chinese building the Great Wall, the, the Romans and all the buildings they have done. All of this took people working together in organizational structure to make it work. Now, what I'm going to do is walk through some of the early history. We're going to take a look at some of the key foundational pieces that drove management for a significant period of time from the 1700s up until the late 1900s. The first is Machiavelli. Uh, he was the founder of modern political science and ethics, organizational power. Uh, and what I've done, instead of me trying to lecture on it, I'm just going to put, put this link into this page um, so that you can watch it. Um, German sociologist Max Weber uh, studied charismatic leadership. I again have a video for him. The last one is Adam Smith, The Wealth of Nations, and uh, he talks about the division of labor, um, and that results in a qualitative increase in productivity. And of course, there's a video there. So what I'd like you to do is to watch all three videos to gain a sense of what this foundation was before we moved into the industrial age. If you have any questions, do let me know.